Good afternoon, Miss Grace. Good afternoon. I am a diabetes nurse educator. My name is Hui Fen. Dr. David has prescribed you a once daily insulin injection to help your glucose control improve. There are many different types of insulin, and these are available in vials, cartridges, and insulin pens. The insulin that is prescribed for you is a background insulin that comes in insulin pen device. The insulin pens are pre-filled with insulin and you can use it multiple times until the pen is empty. There are many different types of insulin pen devices, each containing different types of insulin. These are coded with different colors and it is important for you to know the name of the insulin you are on, recognize the pen device and how much insulin you are supposed to give yourself. Now, I'm going to show you how to use this insulin pen, demonstrate the injection technique, followed by how best to care for and store the pen. Thank you for your explanation. I'm ready to start. First, wash your hands before handling the insulin pen. Each time you are giving an insulin dose, you will need to prepare two alcohol swaps, insulin pen needle, Insulin pen needles come in different lengths. In general, 4 to 6 mm needles should be sufficiently long. A hard container for the disposal of used needle. Step 1. Remove the pen cap. Clean the tip of the pen with an alcohol swab. Step 2. Remove the protective tab from the needle, then attach the needle to the pen and screw tightly onto the pen. Remove the outer needle cap and put it aside. Remove and discard the inner cap. Pen devices should be primed according to the manufacturer instructions before each injection to remove any air bubbles and ensure that the pen and the needles are working properly. Some pens require 2 units and others require 3 units. Step 3. Prime the insulin pen to remove air bubbles and ensure that the needle is working properly. To do so, turn the dose selector to 2 units for this pen. Hold the pen with the needle pointing upwards and tap the insulin reservoir so that any air bubbles will rise upwards towards the needle. Press the dosing button all the way till the dose selector turns to zero. Check and make sure you see a drop of insulin appearing at the needle tip. If not, change the needle and repeat the priming. Step 4. Check that the dose selector is set at zero after the safety check and turn to the required dose as ordered. Dr. David has prescribed 16 units. Turn the dose selector slowly until you see the number 16 lining out with the pointer. Let's try to do the injection now. Step 5. Clean the injection site with an alcohol swab and allow it to dry. Grip the pen firmly and insert the needle perpendicularly into the skin. Inject the insulin slowly. Lean people should consider using the shortest needle, 4 mm, and lifting a skin fold for injection. Press the dosing button all the way until the marking zero lines out with the pointer. Continue to press the dosing button and start counting slowly to 10. This is to ensure you have received the full dose of insulin. Redraw the needle before releasing the skin fold if applicable. Importantly, you should not inject through clothing. Step 6. Cover the needle with the big outer needle cap tightly and use it to unscrew the needle from the pen. Step 7. You will need a sharp container to discard the used needle. Now, put the pen cap back. You can purchase sharp container from selected pharmacies. When the container is full, Silk it before disposing of it. You must not discard used needle into regular rubbish bins. Insulin pen needles are only meant to be used just once to avoid the risk of infections. Besides, 
Reusing needles will make them blunt and subsequent injection may hurt and cause bruising. You may inject over the abdomen within the following areas. Up to 1 cm below the lowest rib, 1 cm away from umbilicus laterally towards the flanks, and 1 cm above the symphysis pubis. Injection sites should be rotated to avoid repeat tissue trauma. A good way for rotation will be to divide the injection site into quadrants using one per week and moving quadrants to quadrants in a consistent direction. Injections should be rotated in such a way that they are spaced at least 1 cm from each other. Rotating your injection sites will help prevent lumps and hardened tissue from forming. The new unopened insulin pens are to be stored in a refrigerator at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Insulin pens must not be frozen. Do remember to label each pen with a date when you have opened it. Expired insulin must not be used. Thank you, Nurse Huifen, for the detailed explanation and guidance. You are welcome.